I never thought in a million years that I would be taking off a suit off Wall Street to go to a shirt and sh a t shirt and shorts mm -hmm. to clean cars. But I did. Mm -hmm. And it's the best thing that ever happened. Uh -huh. And I make my own hours. And the money part. And that just comes through. <laughs> 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 There's a new that one. It's called great. Cash App. Uh -huh. Are you familiar with it? Cash App, yeah. It's got this sound on the phone that sounds like cash. Oh, yeah. Coins <laughs> being dropped. Yeah. I can't tell you how my body reacts when I hear that sound. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's better than the Wall Street I call girl. it money on Viagra. <laughs> Oh, that that noise! It's better than the Wall Street ballad. Right, right, right. <laughs> but I'll be on a job site and hear, Ksh. yeah. And I'm like, wow, we got oh, it. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 huge stress. That right, it's right. Not coming. I completed the job. The money's coming. Well, you know, I was thinking of that, that sound for a meditational video, like Cash App just continues. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> now, John. So to this point, and we definitely, I definitely want to see your interest because you're into franchising with wings as well, to right, licensing absolutely. with wings. Yeah. Um, because we're, we're talking on the phone before, you were interested, saw in the training videos for your employees yeah. uh, and the calendar as well, the clients. What was it that you first, how did you find out about uh, it initially on, on, the on licensing with wings? Well, it, again, uh -huh. from the very beginning of this interview today, is we were talking about reputation. Mm -hmm. So reputation speaks very loudly. Uh -huh. Someone that's aggrieved and unhappy, that speaks exceptionally loudly because they post negative reviews, et cetera, like that. Mm -hmm. But when you're doing a good job, it echoes. So you and I are, now mind you, Charlottesville, back to where you are in the yeah. Richmond general area, yeah. we're over 100 miles. Yeah. But I've got wings in my eardrum uh -huh. from a customer that utilized wings and they said they did a wonderful job oh wow right that so part I, I didn't know right, <laughs> that's well, new to me i saved my secrets for the right time <laughs> so uh -huh. i went from there and then i started looking into the website and information and came across some youtubes and um and i said you know what this this, this seems like an appropriate fit and it's That's that awesome. point of our business, uh -huh. being several decades in business now, uh, that it was time to s move to the next level. Uh -huh. Appropriate time, like I've been saying during this whole yeah. interview, is this, that um, combining sharp minds mm -hmm. yeah. and bringing them into business. I love that. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah. And that's how it flourishes and you keep going to the next level. And two heads are better than one. Mm -hmm. You have John and Andre. Yeah. So you formulate that and I adopt your ideas. You adopt my ideas. We kind of put it together, put them in sync, see what we come up with. And absolutely, that's how major conglomerate companies are put together. Mm -hmm. Think about what you're doing today. You only, mm -hmm. you only got today. You don't know if you're going to be around tomorrow anyway. Uh -huh. yeah. you know, that's all our higher power. Who makes that a determination? Yeah, but the thing is, is just take baby steps. And if you take the baby steps and gain the knowledge and gather from other people and go to work every day, push yourself, Yeah. it doesn't come on a silver platter. You got to push. That's awesome. And I promise I didn't pay John to say all this. Nope, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. There's no check here underneath <laughs> passing through. But, but, it, it, but it, it, it was that. reputation. No, it was reputation. That's incredible. I, d I did not know that. Uh, we spoke on the I mean, obviously, we've been speaking on the oh, phone. Oh, we spoke before. endlessly on the yeah, phone. Not five-minute phone calls. It was the very first time. <laughs> oh, well, we were talking shop back and yeah. forth, back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time that I knew about that was through a client. Wings Mobile Detailing is completely reinventing what auto care means. And with that comes opportunity. We offer you a chance to leverage our five-star franchise business model. What happened was my dad had gotten very sick. Uh -huh. So I had to relocate from Florida to Charlottesville, Virginia. And, but at the same time, I needed a job to survive because I would help him out to alleviate some of the costs of a caregiver, it was that bad. Mm -hmm. He was suffering from cancer. And so um, I didn't have a van. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, in my infinite wisdom, if you will, I made a photocopy, we'll wash your car, wash wax, wheel clean, tire shine, vacuum for $40. Uh -huh. And I passed these flyers, black and white, right off a photocopy machine. 
and started passing them out in the neighborhood. Mind mm-hmm. you, I didn't have the van. Uh-huh. So I would have a vacuum that I'd walk to their house what? Like, with another yeah. bag yeah. with windshield cleaner and armor all, as we spoke about earlier, et cetera, wheel cleaner and tire shine. And I would go to the customer location. My well, how would you get to the client's house? Walk. Radio station of the community. They contacted you. They got a copy of the flyer. Oh. So I got a call from this woman one day and said, John, they also know me by JC, my nickname. And they said, JC, um, I just got your flyer and I'm leaving the radio station. It was a woman. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'd like you to come on board with Groupon. Mm-hmm. So I said, yeah. I met with her, signed the contracts. Two weeks later, she's suggesting I put up a website, which I did. I started looking for a van. And all of a sudden, it goes live one day online. This Groupon yes. thing and, and the radio as well. Right. Mm-hmm. At the end of the week, I had 400 new details. 400. You hit a jackpot there. I did. Yeah. And I didn't have to do any of the work. Groupon and the radio station cumulatively put it together. That was uh, 27 years ago, would you say? Uh, they're about-ish uh-huh. time-wise. And mm-hmm. uh, so I was under the gun. I couldn't possibly do 400 myself. So I started looking for workers, mm-hmm. which wasn't very hard. People in Charlottesville, it's pretty easy. A lot of college students wanted extra work. Now, real quick, John, on this <coughs> sure. Groupon thing, do you still do it nowadays or market through Groupon? or Because it has changed a lot, I assume. It, right? We come back Groupon. from the need for that. Um, mm-hmm. and, and that's only intermittent, usually during the winter time. Uh-huh. There's no need to do it during the spring and summer. We have so much business. Yes. We have so much business coming through the pipeline um, after this many years, decades, that um, it fuels itself. Yes. And the referrals and their referrals. So there's no real expense to advertising. Yes. In fact, advertising, I think, would hurt us more than help us. Because then you wouldn't be able to... To we wouldn't be able to complete yeah. all the jobs. Whether I had five or ten vans, it's yes. still kind of come in volume, so it wouldn't matter. I could have a hundred vans, and I still couldn't. Yeah. Um, and then you'd have to find all the workers to supplant that. And, and that's what I find interesting because I, I know speaking to like the detailing community, who is people who are starting out now. You know, they they worry too much sometimes about their competition. They see other detailers as competition, and and. Like the experience that you have here, the amount of success, the vents, you're saying that even if you have more vents, you wouldn't be able to handle it. And so there's no well, need for them to Well, you know, you brought worried. something up. Uh-huh. It's kind of comical, the way I'm going to reply to that, mm-hmm. is uh, I run into other detailers. I know pretty much every detailer that's in the Richmond general area. Uh-huh. Um, and that's just by occasion running into them, to same job sites. But um, I'll get some from time to time. Yeah, I've been doing this for 35, 40 years. <laughs> I'm the best in the business. Uh-huh. And I reply, I suck. In fact, when yes. a customer says, are you going to do a good job? I'm yes. pretty not much of mine to reply. I'll do my very best. Because I don't want to give them a level of anticipation or a level of service that I can't do to rise to their level of expectation because everybody's got a different level of expectation. Uh So if I say I'm the best and I'm going to do a fabulous job Uh and I'm going to charge you outrageously for this detail, then I'm hurting myself. But if I humble myself and like tell the other detailers I suck, thing is they'll look a different view once they see the vehicle and make their own Uh self-determination. And quite frankly, there's a lot of grandiosity with some of the detailers out there mm-hmm. that they really do believe they're the best. Uh-huh. So I'm not going to fuel their little yeah, you, yes. issues running through there. <laughs> what I was so excited when we were saying that right now is because I truly believe that because I've, we, we study a lot of, you know, successful business owners Absolutely. and other industries, you know, multimillionaires who you see uh, who are growing businesses. And these people are usually, they have a common trait, which is being humble. Right. Right. They, I mean, they believe in their products, right? Mm-hmm. They believe that they can do a great service. Right. Like you and I do. They believe all that, that the client will be satisfied, but they don't 
over over say it. They don't over, they don't they're humble. Right. But even in this no area, Andre, <clears throat> yeah. from time to time I see various detail companies that have been around quite a long period of time. Uh -huh. And not bashing anybody, but there are certain podcasts and YouTube videos and da 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 uh -huh. that they're trying to purport um, different styles and techniques and different uh, levels of waxes and sealants, et cetera, et cetera. Product technologies. Exactly. <laughs> and uh -huh. which is good. So, some it's more than just that presentation on a video uh -huh. that goes into detailing. What even if they give you a show that they're washing the car and waxing the car, they're applying the seal and how they're applying the seal, there's so much more to it. Yeah. Where it really, and you probably will never hear it in a video until you've heard it from me, is, is that it's about your passion mm -hmm. to make it like it's your own. Uh -huh. And if you treat that as if it's your own, like your own wife, your children, yeah. your jewelry, and you treat it as if it's your own, and you purport that out to the community, mm -hmm. it relaxes the customer, they make their own self-determination, their own level of expectation. All of that early broadcast is just inciting mm -hmm. a much higher level. Yeah, That's my viewpoint on it. Yeah. They're very helpful, like I said in the beginning, but there has to be a balance in that presentation yeah. So as not to give the consumer an unrealistic expectation. Right. Yeah. And that's where it would hurt your business and your credibility. Yeah. So, and, and, but having the confidence as well, like especially starting off detailers who think there's not, there's always more than enough vehicles for everyone, not only for everyone present now, for, but for also who's, who's coming. Oh, absolutely. In the and that's, and that's a great point because... And visiting that, just to let you yeah. know, from well, time to time, yeah. I'll get calls. I've got 10 years experience. I mm -hmm. don't need you. I, I don't want you. Yes. I want yeah. the person, and, and uh, I'm not being biased or prejudiced towards it, believe me, uh -huh. but I want them trained my way. Yes. The same way where I started, because why change what works? Yes. If I've got young man, young woman, 18, 20, 25, whatever, wants to learn a trade, I'd rather show them the good habits Yes. And let them follow that trail. That's a great employment tip right there. Yes, to yes. look for people who, because that can be a problem. He have Absolutely. all these years of experience. They convey that to you. And right. Yeah. But then they also have shortcuts. They have tricks. They have side steps as yes. well. Yes. So again, I'd prefer, there's an old saying, a bee will always follow the honey. Mm -hmm. Let the bee start here. The yes. bee will follow the honey. And it's a great way to live life. Yeah. And learn from experience and learn your new trade anew. You know, when you go to a trade school and you go for welding, mm -hmm. you don't start at the middle of the class. Now, now, going just to cover up as well, going a little bit back there. Sure. You, in a way, you hit the jackpot to, when, when you're starting the business. You grind it out. But when you got that account, uh, the radio calling you, and then you apply to coupon, did you have to put money Good for question. Coupon? I didn't have to spend a dime. Mm -hmm. It was all commission based. So uh, if yeah. they sold the detail for a hundred dollars, uh -huh. um, they would give me a portion of that hundred dollars to do the work. Yeah. And I believe back then it was like 15% of the hundred. Yeah. Which is de minimis. And um, so I would complete the service. The profit the, margin wasn't high though, right? Because you oh, had to offer all. discount. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. the best thing of all. But it, it was a great, to begin with, it was great. Oh right? my because gosh. And Andre, let me tell you where it was a home run. Mm -hmm. So they sold it for $100, i.e. somewhere close in that proximity, times 400 and sent me a check immediately. So what did JC do? I went out and looked for a van and got a van. Mm -hmm. And then put a water tank in it. Uh -huh. I had my next door neighbor who was the same age help me hook things up. Yeah. And in three days, I was in business. There you go. Yeah. And uh, the irony of it all was I brought the van into Richmond. Uh -huh. And I was coming to meet some folks for lunch. And I said, I'm going to run the van through the car wash. So I'm on the other side of town in Tuckahoe where mm -hmm. they had these pressure washer kind of car washes, these old fashioned ones, probably around yeah. 1995 or so. Uh huh. And I ran it through and it stripped the paint. It had lines going through the white. 
like four different lines going through it was too high. It was set too high. For a client's car, that was? That was my new oh, van. Your my, well, new van, okay. used van that uh -huh. I got for $2,000. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Guess, guess what happened to me? It became your new logo. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was saddened at first, but then yeah, made yeah. the complaint to the owner of the car wash. Yeah. Do you know their insurance repainted my van? So now I've got a 10-year-old van that went through a car wash non-planned they had the paint stripped mm. and they reimbursed to have the vehicle painted the vehicle now i've got a 10 year old van with a brand new paint job oh yeah and then put <laughs> the name of the company off on the side yeah and, and i'm in business and I, it, the paint was kind of chipped along and old yeah. and kind of discolored if you will but now mm -hmm. thanks to a faulty car wash mm -hmm. i got a brand new paint job yeah People were starting their business as well in in other places or wherever. Uh, a lot of them can get into business, and you know, 99% of them fail. When we see that, all I'm not sure. I mean, I do see that all the time. People who are starting their business, their detailing business, 99% they they either go in too excited or they go in wanting to get all their money and invest in things they don't have to. Think you know, there there's some control. Now. And because they're not expecting the, to struggle. They're thinking that everything is just a smooth ride. You know, work for themselves. And easy. That's a grandiose way of thinking. Yeah, that's not how it works, right? And, not I mean, at all. You, you started carrying your own equipment. I walked it to the customer's location. Yeah. I had to feel that struggle uh -huh. to go to the next level. Yes. And so I, we were talking about expectations a few moments ago. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I don't leave room for an expectation. I go and I work it through. Uh -huh. problem solve a situation if need be um, but it all goes down to the basics yeah there's been some turbulence along the way but it's really just learning from experience yes and so for the newcomer don't expect anything uh -huh. yeah. start at ground level yes work hard work for a, a, a goal right work right to grow <laughs> I mean, but don't expect it to be easy in a way, right? Would don't project. Don't, yeah, uh -huh. don't project. Yeah, great. Yeah. What's That's supposed great. to happen will happen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and and th there are ways you can obviously mm -hmm. take leverage of some things to make it more smooth, better, and grow faster. But there's always business is business, business is business. And you have to leave room for change. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, if you're coming out of one profession. Let's say hypothetically you're working at Walmart as a cashier mm -hmm. and then you're jumping into auto detailing. You have to take a few steps back. You know nothing about it. Yeah. So Be just humble. absorb as much as you can. Be humble. And YouTube videos are very helpful. Uh -huh. Talking to other detailers is very helpful. Going yeah. to work before you start your own business is extremely helpful. Yeah. Go to work for somebody else first. Learn to trade. Yeah. And you're getting a free education by working or being employed with a detail company before you ever think about doing it on your own. Mm -hmm. So food for thought, yeah. gain knowledge. Knowledge is power. That's smart. And, and I, had, I actually had his, a, a, great, a, a great YouTuber out there who used to be an employee for Wings as well. Let's see. He's, he started off wanting to learn everything. Right. He worked for Wings, and I thought it was great. Absolutely. You know, he started off grinding there, learning everything he could, and to even because he had that idea to apply to his business as well. Right. And uh, learning, humbling yourself, knowing, and, and we always gonna be always learning. Right. That's that's what I think is amazing. Now, to overview, John, you had your first van. You start grinding out there. I'm sure you went through a lot of uh, struggles, a lot of successes. Absolutely. To get to this point. Um, and then you start, how long until you bought your, you, you thought that, oh, hey, now I actually want to grow a business and actually have employees and not be self-employed. It wasn't so much change? about growing the business as it was fulfilling the business that we already had. Uh, so it, uh -huh. the business was already in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't even giving thought to growing the business because I wanted to get the business that we had on the books and coming in were done. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get another. You didn't want to say bit. no to clients who were calling. Oh, right, right. Uh -huh. I, I oh no, I never wanted to say no. <coughs> yes. So what I did was, um, I bought two vans at one time, uh -huh. uh, at a dealership out in Charlottesville. How how long after the first van? Uh, about a year and a half. About a year. Yes. Uh -huh. 
And so I shuttled those into Richmond, had our signage put up, and uh, those are mobile billboards, the signage. When you say mobile auto detailing, cars, vans, trucks, boats, phone Mm. number, we come to you, Uh it's a mobile billboard. You're driving it around town, people are seeing it. Yes. It's self-advertising. Again, we don't spend any money in advertising. It's the way it goes. I think also speed is power on that. The more you can, um, if somebody's looking to to grow, each person has their own uh, point of view. Absolutely. But the more, speed is power in a way that uh, there are ways to acquire more speed, uh, uh, faster growth, I believe. Uh, Either by, like you did Groupon. Right. Um, it, It took you some effort to acquire that, you know, time perhaps. Uh open-minded to see the opportunity mindset as well and, and, and absolutely and surround healthy yourself. minds yes yeah, surround yourself with great yes people. yes so if you have a dud head worker yeah. why would you keep them on you're paying them to do the work to impress the customer and do a good job so if it, that particular person didn't work out this is about business yeah just make the suggestion try and get some improvement from the worker i mean i always try mm-hmm. to see if they could succeed and I'll test the waters for a while and give it some time. And if they don't, they don't. I could always move them to a different function, yeah. answering <laughs> telephones, what have you, yeah. and just explain, maybe this isn't your, your thing. You have them you in know? the right place. Right, yeah. so right. At least I've got a valuable worker. I've yes. already started with them, started building a rapport and a relationship. Um, but yeah, it's for some people. I never thought in a million years that I would be taking off a suit off Wall Street to go to a shirt and sh- a t-shirt and shorts mm. to clean cars, but I did, mm-hmm. and it's the best thing that ever happened. Uh-huh. And I make my own hours. And the money part. And that just comes through. <laughs> 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 There's a new one. That's it's called great. Cash App. Uh-huh. Are you familiar with it? Cash App, yeah. It's got this sound on the phone that sounds like cash. Oh yeah. Coins <laughs> being dropped. Yeah. I can't tell you how my body reacts when I hear that sound. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's better than the Wall Street I call girl. it money on Viagra. <laughs> oh, that, that noise. It's better than the Wall Street bell. Right, right, right. But I'll be on a job site and hear, Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, we got oh, it. Yes. <laughs> No, no, no huge stress that right, it's right. not coming. I completed the job, the money's coming. Well, you know, I was thinking of that, that sound for a meditational video, like cash up just continues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now, John, to finalize it, um, with, so to this point, and we definitely, I definitely want to see your interest because you're into franchising with wings as well. To right, absolutely. With wings. Yeah. Um, because we're, we're talking on the phone before, you were, Interested, saw in the training videos for your employees yeah. uh, and the calendar as well, the clients. What was it that you first, how did you find out about uh, it initially on, on, the fr- on licensing with Wings? Well, it, again, uh-huh. from the very beginning of this interview today is we were talking about reputation. Mm-hmm. So reputation speaks very loudly. Uh, Someone okay. that's aggrieved and unhappy, that speaks exceptionally loudly because they post negative reviews, et cetera, like that. Mm-hmm. But when you're doing a good job, it echoes. So you and I are, now mind you, Charlottesville, back to where you are in the yeah. Richmond general area, yeah. we're over 100 miles. Yeah. But I've got wings in my eardrum uh-huh. from a customer that utilized wings. And they said they did a wonderful job. Oh, Wow. Right. That so part I didn't know. Right, That's well, new to me. I saved my secrets for the right time. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I went from there and then I started looking into the website and information and came across some YouTubes. And, um, and I said, you know what? This, this, this seems like an appropriate fit. And it's That's that awesome. point of our business, uh-huh. being several decades in business now, uh, that it was time to s- move to the next level. Uh-huh. Appropriate time, like I've been saying during this whole yeah. interview, is this, that um, combining sharp minds mm-hmm. yeah. and bringing them into business. I love that. Yeah. That's what it's about. And yeah. that's how it flourishes and you keep going to the next level. And two heads are better than one. Mm-hmm. You have John and Andre. Yeah. So you formulate that and I adopt your ideas, you adopt my ideas. 
We kind of put it together, put them in sync, see what we come up with. And absolutely, that's how major conglomerate companies are put together. Mm -hmm. Think about what you're doing today. You only you only got today. You don't know if you're going to be around tomorrow anyway. Uh huh. Yeah. You know? That's all our higher power who makes that determination. Yeah, but the thing is, is just take baby steps. And if you take the baby steps and gain the knowledge, and gather from other people, and go to work every day, push yourself. Yeah. It doesn't come on a silver platter. You got to push. That's awesome. And I promise I didn't pay John to say all this. Nope, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. There's no check here other than you passing through. But, but, it, it, but it, it, it was that. reputation. No, it was reputation. That's incredible. I, d I did not know that. Uh, we spoke on a, I mean, obviously, we've been speaking on the oh, phone. Oh, we spoke before. endlessly on the yeah, phone. Not five-minute phone calls. It was the very first time. Oh, well, we were talking shop back yeah. and forth, back and forth. <laughs> it was the first time that I knew about that was through a client. Right. That's very interesting. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. And uh, John, thank you very much for sharing your story. It's a pleasure. Uh, years of experience. It's great for detailers too. And if, if anybody has any questions, reach out because uh, there's always a lot to learn. I've learned a lot oh, gotcha. with John. I learned myself from parts of employees, uh, on the interview process of employees. There's always some golden nuggets that helps. In Th that was golden, business. not chicken McNuggets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, some very well uh, whole food stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but thank you again, John. My pleasure. Appreciate it. We get continue to grind, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, we'll talk again. Yes, definitely. Right. Thank you. Thank you.